After staging a grandstanding saying the bipartisan talks with Kenya Kwanzaa had to be outside parliament, it is not unusual that Azimio speak for only parliamentarians into its seven-member task force has set tongues wagging. Has Raila Odinga technically given in to the Kenya Kwanzaa demands? Ibrahim Karanja analyzes in this story. When President William Ruto extended an olive branch to Azimio leader Raila Odinga, offering to settle some of the opposition's demands through parliament in return for the opposition to halt its bi-weekly anti-government demonstrations, the Azimio side, while open to the invitation, specifically declined to take a purely parliamentary route. This process, we want it to be akin to the process that was led by Kofi Annan, that is going to be going to have members of parliament in but they are going to sit outside parliament. It was widely thought that Odinga's push for an extra parliamentary process would see leaders from other quarters also included in the team. The thought further cemented by the presence of governors, senior party officials and members of the technical teams at their meeting in Stony Athi Thursday. It doesn't mean that there has to be non-parliamentarians in the negotiations. It does not mean that. This is what it means. He means that you can have parliamentarians, okay, negotiating outside the parliament. Now the reason for that is very simple. That if there is any motion to be taken into Mbunge, is there to be the motion agreed by the principles, agreed by William Ruto and agreed by Laila Undinga. Has Odinga silently ceded ground for Ruto's purely parliamentary approach by the MPs only committee? In terms of imagery, Ruto came out very well when he said, I agree. We discuss what? IBC. IBC. So now, the, now, what you have now is uh, now Raila responding to the Ruto initiative. And um, and try to see whether he can uh, reverse the situation and put uh, Ruto back in the, f in the fix. Raila is trying to accommodate William Ruto. Okay? He couldn't have easily put Mother Garua there. He couldn't have put the Galonzo Musioka there. And then Galonzo Musioka is a diplomat, is a good negotiator. But what he is doing is trying to meet Ruto halfway. On Thursday, Odinga gave a list of 10 items which Azimio tasked its representatives to push for in the mediation. Interestingly, the cost of living which has been Odinga's rallying call only appeared as one point in the 10-item list, while five items were all to do with the elections and IEBC. But the cost of living is driven by policy, and the policy derived from politics. <laughs> so if you don't deal with the structural deficiencies within the governance structure, you don't deal with the cost of living. Maintaining that a pure parliamentarians committee does not necessarily mean a purely parliamentary process. All eyes will be on both sides, Azimiola Umoja and Kenya Kwanza in the next couple of days, to see who will blink first and where and how these talks will be held from. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV from Nairobi County.